an easy pot roast recipe all right so you're going to take your pot roast mine is about two to three pounds i didn't have a big enough bowl so i just put it in another pot and then you're going to season it to taste i use seasoning salt onion powder garlic powder i use those in everything and then a little bit of black pepper but you can change it up based on what you like and you just give it a good amount of seasoning once you're done with that then you're going to take your dutch oven and you're going to put some oil in it just enough to cover the bottom or so and heat that up on the stove once you heat that up then you'll be able to brown your meat for four minutes on each side so you just want to give it a good amount of color you can do the sides as well it's real easy if you just push it against the dutch oven the um, sides will brown then I just took one large onion and I cut big chunks of it. You don't have to cut them small or anything like that. Separated them all up. Once the meat was done browning on both sides, so I did one side, flipped it, did the other side, had a nice little color to it. And then, you know, it's not cooked in the middle. Once that was done, then I set that to the side in the same pot because, again, didn't have a bowl. And then use the oil and, you know, the meat juice and all that and stuff and put those onions in there. Once those onions cook down a little bit, I just added a little bit of beef broth. I'm going to say about one fourth of a cup. Added that to there once those sauteed down just a bit and mix that all in because now you're going to be adding like a super base or whatever you want to call it mix that all in then i added some minced garlic you can also take and cut up fresh garlic i just took about two tablespoons of the minced garlic mix that in with the onions and the broth and then you can add your other seasonings i added oregano onion soup mix italian seasoning you can do whatever you like i do recommend that you keep the onion soup mixed in there because that gives it a good flavor I added just uh, about two, three more cups of broth. Once all that was mixed in, covered it real nice, put the top on, put it in the oven at 350 for one and a half hours. Once that was done, I cut up uh, some small potatoes, not a lot large ones. You can use large ones. Cut up about a half a bag of small potatoes, so I'm going to say about a pound and a half or so, maybe two pounds. Baby carrots, took those, mixed that in, put it on the bottom so that the juices and the stuff from the pot roast could cook those down a bit. And then about halfway through, I flipped it around again just to make sure everything had a good coverage and got all the flavors. Put that in the oven again for two more hours, still on the 350. Once that was done, this is how it came out. And I'm telling you, so good, so tender, so easy. It's like, you could do the same recipe too in a crock pot. But um, just so simple, so easy, easy family meal that you might want to try.